Well, there it is. I found it. It's the dark crystal. <laughs> Look at that. It's huge. The druid stone. Mother? Fiona. Just look. Look at her. Roots, just look at her. To think this is what holds the world together. Maybe all the worlds. How old is it? It's... It's ancient. It's been here for ages, maybe forever. Some stories suggest that it was the first thing that really existed in, on Aelos Vieira. That the entire world, and everything that contains the world, was made by the Bimerians. And it all started with this. You believe that? I didn't. It's just too big, you know? To build not just a world, but an entire creation and populate it? Hmm. But now, standing here in its, in its presence, somehow it suddenly seems a lot more plausible. Something's wrong. What? Something's wrong. The Druid Stone, it's... It's dying. Oh no! Bloody Roots, it's her work, that bitch. The Sorceress has been here. She's done something to the Druid Stone. The cancer isn't infecting the forest. It's infecting the Druid Stone itself. That's why the forest is dying everywhere. That's why I am the way I am. Jamie. Don't just... Just hang there. You need to do more than just exist. He wanted you to die. You and everything else along with you. We stopped that. I stopped that. Everything I am is because of you. You made me. I'm supposed to have a purpose. I'll do anything you want. Anything at all. Just give me something. A sign. Talk to me. Just... Just give me something. Anything, please. I can't do this anymore. I can't go on being meaningless. I can't. I can't. Jamie. You're not meaningless. You're not. Not to us. Not to me. I think I know what needs to be done. The Druid Stone spoke to me. See? Okay, that's not something that reassures me. I need to step into it and make it whole again. I can do it. I know I can. Fiona, no. What else could we do? Come on now, the circle would never allow you to. The circle isn't here. And if there's one thing we've learned, it's that they sure as hell don't know everything. Accurate. And we're running out of time. The cancer's already in the druid stone. It must be cleansed, purified. You sound crazy. Really? You of all people are throwing crazy at me. Listen to me. The sorceress has been extracting the druid stone's energies, its life force. She has infected it with a cancer. We've failed to protect the druid stone. This is our last chance to end this madness. Before all is lost. There's no way around it. I need to do it. But if you step into the druid stone somehow, what happens to you? I die. I... See, no, I won't allow it. It's not up to you. I don't need your permission. I'm telling you what I have to do. But Fiona, you can't. Please don't. Farewell, Ayane. Please, when this is all done, do what you can to bring Nuala back. I... Fiona, I've never said... That night when you ran into me in those woods... 
I mean, wearing those these robes. I know I look like just another red priest. I thought I was dead. You took me in. You gave me a chance. I never said thank you. I never said I'm sorry. Come on now. Don't cry. Everything will be fine. I'm going to miss you. I'll miss you too. Well, no time like the present. Fiona. I know. I feel it too. In another in in another life we can talk about it. Mother, I'm coming. What in the world is about to happen? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, I don't think so. Oh, just look at this place. Isn't it just marvelous? A perfect place for an execution, I think. And believe me, I would know. Yes, execution. Good. You. I will kill you where you stand. Oh, don't be so dramatic. Did you really think your grand gesture would save the day? I have lived a very long time. And with the World Stone's power, I intend to live much, much longer. Forever. We will live forever, she and I. My cancer has spread into it and through it into all the seeds. The World Stone. She means the Druid Stone. Eternal life. Bit of a cliche, I know, but a delicious one. I've already tapped into the World Stone. Soon I will crack it open and drink it all in. Yes, drink it all. Can't stop us. Stop us? As if I would ever let silly things like these interfere with that. Enough. Now we take her. Quite right. Now that you're here, at the World Stone, nothing could be easier. Let's dispense with the nonsense, shall we? Let's do what we all came here to do. Electrum. Oop. What's this do? What? Okay. Alternate dimension crazy fight time. I'm what I'm partly. I don't know if it really makes sense context-wise, besides just the fact that it's a character we know about. But I'm wondering if maybe the uh, other voice is Fiona's father. Since we have this character that's been missing the entire time that she's trying to find. I'm like, maybe that's consumed inside of her. It's probably just some other thing. Defeat the sorceress is my only objective. No big deal. Okay. Wow. Because of course she does, right? Okay. Yep. The sorceress is old, incredibly powerful, and full of schemes. Her concerns are distinctly inhuman, and her plans go far beyond merely amassing wealth or power. She has 25 health, 4 damage per hit at a range of 5, so yay, high damage at range. At least she doesn't do 5, I guess. She has 3 armor, a speed of 0. No opportunity attacks, and she flies. That's confusing. She can fly over pits and low obstacles, but also has a movement speed of zero. I imagine she might teleport everywhere. I'm wondering if I could do anything about her armor rating. What's these? Crux Pylon. Interact with the Crux Pylon to receive a tier of Aether. This is a free action. Don't know what that means, but there's three of them. Oh, there's more. There's six of them. There's a lot of them. Dark Stalkers. Which things are these? Are these like the weird blob enemies from the beginning? So they still only do they still only have four health. Two damage, one armor. Uh and they don't do attacks of opportunity. Or they don't they don't trigger mine. These strange creatures seem to be constantly shifting in and out of existence. 
They're unnatural. Not of our world. Could they? Could their origin be the Zero Seed? Yeah, this has been the description from the beginning of the game, and I... The game has either rarely or never mentioned the Zero Seed, so I don't have a ton of context to draw from, but... These guys have always said that they're from the Zero Seed, or had the suggestion in their description from the beginning of the game, and they were in, like, one of the first missions. And the final mission, I think the one after this, is called Zero Seed, so I guess we'll learn about that. So they, of course, yeah, these guys will attack. Infectors. These inhabitants of Zero Seed are crucial in spreading the cancer. They've been working very hard indeed. Only two damage, so they're actually not able to damage Jamie at all. Well, he can aggro them. But what about that pylon? I gotta figure out what this is. Ooh, that was spooky. Fear of Aether. Disintegrates everything in a 3x3 three three square area. The sorceress is immune to disintegration and receives 5 damage instead. May the forest protect you! Okay. Ooh, I can cast it wherever I want. That's interesting. Wow. That's handy. I probably want to save this for the sorceress. It's the highest damage thing in the game, basically, besides fire. Or Jamie's one-time use mega attack that does six to one guy. And it's an AoE. Because these guys aren't that hard to take off one by one. I probably want to stock up on these and then use them on either the Dark Knights or the Sorceress. Probably both. Because each one will take out like a fifth of her health, except... Unless the armor blocks two of it. That would suck. Not sure what to think there. I'm also not sure how the sorceress is going to behave, so this is going to be a little bit of a scary, not all variables are known kind of scenario. And there's my Purify spell. There we go. One more added to the pile. Range of five, but it's actually six, right? So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Ah. Now what I need to just blow them all up from here. I was just thinking about how effective it would be to be able to stop that. All right. Well, if Jamie gets in here, they can't attack me. <clears throat> and I'm just trying to think about the smartest way to do things here. I don't think I want to blow all of my spells right off the bat here, because we have much bigger threats coming my way. So I kind of want to deal with these guys via more... Here we go. Uh, why did I do that? Doesn't matter. He couldn't actually that's actually useful This is absurd <laughs> Isn't that precious? <laughs> <laughs> well, if they don't do damage to me, I can just provoke infinite attacks of opportunity. Not infinite, but as many as I can move, and they'll keep killing themselves on me. Wow, what a weird new tactic to be able to exploit. How do you feel about knockback? And again, how do I feel about finishing these guys off? Eh, they can't escape Jamie though. 
I should deal with these guys because they, they can't escape Jamie. There we go. Main path blocked. Hang on a minute. Am I am... Wasn't she at the top of the screen and I was in the bottom left? Did the camera rotate? Is there a camera rotating button? I don't remember anymore, honestly. Because it hasn't been very necessary, frankly. Scroll up, scroll left, scroll right. I don't think you can rotate the camera in this game, can you? It's just like, shows up in cutscenes. I think it did happen, though. Unless I'm just like imagining things. I don't know. It's fine. It's fine. I just, I swear the... Wait. Oh, I just saw it. The entire, the entire... Yeah. Alright, that's weird. That's, that's disorienting and unusual. The entire map's always rotating. You can, it, now that I see it, I can notice it. It's happening. That's why we're in a different place all of a sudden. It's just very slowly rotating, which will be disorienting when I try to keep track of which direction I'm trying to go in and stuff. Okay. Weird. Okay. Yeah. Now that I'm aware of it. <laughs> you dead. Yay! Wall damage is fun. I would like to avoid attack of opportunity, so let's go one tile away so he can't get to me past her. Oh man, this is messing with me. Alright, that that explains the vague sense of unease that I was feeling, I guess. There we go. I want to move towards the other guys to potentially AoE them down. Although I don't know how they're going to... I don't know what they're going to do when they get around. But I'm kind of trying to head towards them. We'll see how that turns out. But I want to get my attack in. Alright, slowly rotating screen. Charged. What does that mean? Oh, she teleports. I figured she teleports because she has a move and a zero. But she just aggressively came right into my base. I love that they're killing themselves on me. That's incredible. Did that guy just kill himself? Oh, they can float over the gaps. Did that guy just kill himself by running, trying to run past Ayane? That's silly. But okay. They totally did, didn't they? They tried to get to Fiona past Ayane, so they died. Neat. Hello, Sorceress. How are you doing? Uh... Sorceress is old. Get charged. Gains an extra action point at the start of each round. Oh! She's gonna have two actions. So she'll attack twice. Plus or minus, like, she probably also has spells that I should be worried about. So yay. Okay, the tier does five damage at least. At least I don't have to worry about it doing less for whatever reason. All right, let's hope for the best. And also hope she doesn't just, just, oh. Well, shit. That really undercuts this whole situation if I can't reach her. I think I'm gonna run and do that now that we've learned what that means. All right. Oh. I require line of sight. I guess here? Yeah. 
Because I can't I can't throw it there, which is the where where that would just take out the one slot I want. But I want to maintain the ability for him to attack. Which, ha, huh, this guy's gonna kill himself. There you go. Thanks for playing. Okay, I do not want to knock her back. Wow, yeah, with her three with her three armor I only can do one damage with my four my four damage attack. This does six damage, which I can do add another one too. That'll be six, seven damage. Minus three is four. That's at least something, but it's not amazing. I should have poisoned her with Fiona so other people could do more damage. But Fiona had the, th the tear. I don't know. Li live and let live, I guess. Or learn, learn from your mistakes. I don't know why I said that. None of my tricks have pierce, really. Alright, so dark suckers are here. Oh, right. Phased out, can only be targeted and damaged with melee attacks from an adjacent square. I forgot about that ability. Crap. That means I can't AOE them down. That is not very high damage. Uh, we're trying. I mean, that, that's, it's a boss. We take what we can, right? Plus one. So four damage, five damage. My st so I can do two damage if I do blow both these abilities. Yeah, no, I think I'm going to save that for the other guys. The various other enemies headed our way. Like these guys, aren't they look- don't they look fun? Man, here they come. <laughs> uh, so nothing you do can even hurt her, right? Because she has three armor and that my attacks do three damage. Or less. Oftentimes less. Yep. Alright, so that's the best we can do. We need to find- we need to get more of these- these guys. You know, he's over a hole, so if I switched with him, I would just end up there. And these guys are removable, so I can't teleport with them. It'd be great if I could trick them into stepping on this unstable floor. Alright, make the most of it, right? Wow, they really do have limited movement. Alright. Trying to get to that tier. She has a range of five. He'll take half damage, so it won't be that big of a threat. For the two attacks she'll do. One, two, three, four, f oh great. So she can hit Fiona wherever she goes. All right, so Fiona's gonna wanna have to hide behind this wall. Which Chert will also kinda wanna do too. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, Trut's in range. And these guys are coming after him, too. Oh, 
Okay, Fiona can add here. That's better. I was trying to figure out how I was going to get both Fiona and Shirt behind Line of Sight. Because I don't trust this. I, line of Sight's been really fin uh, restrictive with full cover, so she might not be able to hit this, but I don't fully trust it. I don't really, I'm not in a hurry to test that. I think I'm going to start moving, because I don't expect her to be here still next turn. So I'm going to start moving Jamie for ho to hopefully accomplish other things. Oh, uh, Trit's going to take some hits. Yep. But I don't want to get her, I don't want him to get double blasted by the sorceress though and take eight damage, so I'll take the two or four. Hopefully the first guy who attacks me blocks the path, the other one can't reach me or something. Possessed. What? That was outside of the five tiles of range, wasn't it? So she has longer range than the game says she has. Yay! Oh right, the armor. Fuck. They take no damage. Great! Great! Alright, so yeah, we, we definitely want to save these for the Sorceress as much as we can, because... Uh... Fucking... <laughs> sorceress takes no damage, basically, otherwise. And I already blew most of my tricks that would do any damage, besides a few of Chert's fireballs, but I think I want to use them on he these guys. Alright, so, remember when I was uh, afraid of fighting one Dark Knight? Because here's three. Although I think that's happened before, I guess. The sigil on the, of, on the shields of these heavily armored elite soldiers are a sad reminder of the time the oak shield still revered the forest before the corruption set in. Four damage, two armor. Possessed. Controlled by its possessor ends in three rounds. Oh boy. That's not good news. Alright. All oh, right, and Chert can't escape these guys, and they're at... Wow, Chert's not in good shape right now. I can attack all of them with fire, but it's just not that strong. Hmm. And while hitting Ayane will do a lot of damage. Still, we do need to chip away at these guys. And Ayane is currently the, f the enemy. Yeah, the Caltrops are totally a waste. The one time I finally used them, uh, I pro- Yeah. Because these guys have the same amount of armor, so they don't work. So what squares could I switch with? All the way out here, huh? Okay. Fiona can make that work. Switching with Fiona, because Fiona can at least escape these guys. Gives me something to work with. They're all coming, though. Ah, they have range. <sighs> Fuck. Alright. This is a uniquely problem enemy, <laughs> and that you can only melee them when they're phased out. Because this is a very not melee cast of people. Shit. It's like she can run away, and then he can go in and start trying to melee them all, which would very much help. But then the one behind us will attack. 
Meanwhile, Ayane has the multi-target. Yeah. It is just two damage. These guys can't hurt him. So if he block, well, they don't do attack of they can't provoke attack of opportunity though. So he can just run past. They can all just run past him if they want to. Fuck. Yeah, with the number of enemies coming at me right now, I think I have to use my defensive move. Or I can, I guess I could just make a break for it. Oh, Chert's also in bad shape though. Yeah. I just need, to, there's just too many of them nearby, but they'll do two damage, so my strategy is going to be to focus, protect, and now hopefully none of them will take damage, because they'll do two. These guys won't reach in time, so they, they won't be relevant this turn. She might attack with a ranged attack. She can't reach anybody this turn with a normal movement speed, but she has the shuriken attack, but if she uses that... Uh, it also does two damage, so this protect should have just stopped all damage sources for this turn. And now I can try to deal with these phased out douchebags. Which I can't even charge, right? Yeah. Can only be targeted and damaged with melee attacks from an adjacent square. I need to multi target. Wait, how is this going to work? <laughs> oh, that is silly. That is truly silly. Wow. What an ability to have. If only I could actually get them to die of it. It's tempting to use the Whirlwind, but it's just... I gotta save that for at least trying to fight these guys or something. Just to do a spike of damage, because there's three of them. That seems like a better fit. But it would take care of all three of them right now. But yeah, I've already, I've already nullified their incoming damage, so... Let's just whack away. This would have been a good time to still have my cleave ability. Not cleave, uh... Sweep. So that both of them would get hit. Ooh! Well, now I wish I had saved that that up. Damn. I'm not going to spend my shift on that, though. Yeah. So they, he can reach all the way to here. And he can also reach everywhere. Given our armor bonus, we should be good, so I should actually stick around to help out. I'm gonna have to ha help with firing the fireball again to hopefully help out with that stuff. I hope. Oh, they're not gonna be grouped up. They're all scattering. Why, thank you. Thanks for saving me that action point. It's very nice of you. Ayane, go away. Ah. Is he phased out? Can I just target him? I can. Okay. These guys are coming in too. I should have opened with volley because then the Dark Knight would go down faster.
Really would just appreciate it if everybody in my range would die, please. There we go. There goes you. Ayane does four damage? No, she doesn't. Oh, the power attack. Right. Yeah, that does make it a little worse. Does entering that square make her attack? Oh, she's using guard. Okay. That's fine. Go ahead. Go ahead and use guard. And go ahead and heal yourself with that heart, so that when she uh, unpossesses you, I can have you have more health. That's also good news. These guys won't be reaching us yet, so I can take out this guy. Oh, <laughs> I guess you can still get something like that if you have his ability to pick up stuff with his mind. But without that, you're not in great shape. Okay, so these guys have no range, right? So they're not gonna—they're not gonna reach me. I can firebomb them next turn. These guys, are they just, are they gonna guard this? Or are they just pathing around it? Hmm. Let's just take cover just in case, you know. Might be handy. Actually, let's get like, you guys won't be able to reach me, right? Let's get far away from Ayane. In case she starts throwing stars at people. <laughs> This seems like a good plan. Because she might start doing her throwing attacks, and I don't want to deal with that right now. I'm also trying not to attack her specifically, so I'm kind of trying to hold her off with my tank character. Oop. There you go, triggering attack of opportunity. I guess she, I guess she can recklessly do stuff like that, because all she's going to do is damage my character that I want to not kill. The more of the annoying guys are coming, thanks. You're trying to knock me off ledges. Stop that. Cut that out. Did you just... Oh, that's annoying. You guys split up so that my fire... My attack I was going for is less of a good idea. Alright, well, I'm done with this, so... Please stop getting me to try to kill you. Now you're sleeping and possessed. I just slept... I just slept the, uh... Oh, I can't, th I can't, th I can't heal three people. Dang it. Because I've already used my focus. The sleep lasts how long? Ends in two rounds or one damage. And the possession's about to end, too. Okay. Let's just deal with the incoming attacker, then. Gotcha. Okay. And then, the, the, uh, yeah, I just want to haul ass towards that thing without actually touching it. Ooh. Unstable floor, don't go there. Let's see you do two damage, so I can I can block the path with you. And then approach from behind. Don't want to go through the unstable floor, because if he came after me, I'd be trapped behind it. And that would get me in trouble. I, I need to get some healing done, though. Just across the board. Or we're going to be in trouble. Possession ends, but now she's still slept. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Ah. Uh, this is a lot to deal with at once. If I quickly grab the bomb, I can throw it at her to do five damage, but then I have to do nine more. So there's two. <laughs> it's not great. It's not great. This is five. So that'd be another two. That's four damage down. 
So I, I can do four damage with these two characters and five with the pylon, but then she has five more health still to do scary things to me. Hmm. Shooting here blocks line of sight and makes you not hit that square. Weird. By the way, cool that there's a terrain destruction mechanic all of a sudden. That's fun. So another downside of doing this is that... I can't undo my moves, I've already done it. But a downside of doing this is that I can't get uh, Fiona behind him again so that she can get behind the wall to avoid getting hit by whatever he does next. He does next. But I also want to be behind the wall because all these guys are here. Being able to fully defend against all armor, all attacks would be nice right about now. Alright, she has six whole health. These guys do four each. Yeah, she's gonna die next turn. Yep. Can't save Ayane. I might finally lose and actually have to restart a level. Which has not happened yet. Isn't that exciting? If only I could make it down there. Yeah. Even if I kind of do it, because she can... She has two different movement abilities that can make her sprint in that direction. Uh, even if she did do that kind of thing, uh, she would then be trapped here with the pylon. They would they would block the only exit, and then she would just get murdered. There's no... There's not, I don't see a pipe dream version where I somehow ran over there and then, like, next turn blow up the sorceress again or something. And based on how she's behaved so far, she probably- she might possess somebody or vanish or something next turn. Damn. Alright. Meanwhile, once again, I wish I'd used- I wish I had used Volley on her. Then she would take- Then she would take the bonus damage from my other attacks. But the- the 5 damage from this trumps everything. Not even a free action, it uses an action point. Ah. He has 5 movement. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I can come back. I'll take a hit from this guy, but it won't matter. Okay, so blow her up. This is chaos. Oh, the wall's gone, so I won't even be behind cover from her perspective. Great. No line of sight, what? How do I not have line of sight to shoot her at that point? That's just confusing. What the fuck? No line of sight. What? Whoa. Uh, new problem. So the the wall that disappeared still counts as having cover. 
because I guess the wall doesn't generate the cover, they must have manually just flagged that this tile has cover in that direction, and the wall's cosmetic. So in this one edge case where you can destroy terrain in this game, the fucking wall still counts, even though it's not there. Oh, that's annoying. All right. Well, I need to get like, I need to haul ass like all the way over here to get out of the way then. Is it even worth it spending this for two damage when I can just do one this way? It's not great. Hmm. I don't know, we'll try. I don't think I want to spend that much, especially if Chert can't help. Oh, he can now, from this side. Oh god. These guys are gonna come kill Chert. Fuck, I forgot they can just ignore terrain. There's a lot of there's a lot of exception weird stuff going on in this fight that are that uh our mechanics we don't engage with very often. And a couple that are brand new. So I'm forgetting they're like, yeah, they can just float over here, so Chert's not in a safe spot even remotely. Okay, they can at least they can't reach Fiona. But she can probably blow up Fiona. That's not great news for me either. But I don't have line of sight of her, so she didn't, shouldn't have line of sight of me, but she also did possession on her when she was outside of range entirely, so... I don't know. Shit. I mean, I've already committed the actions. That's the best we can do. Alright, kill me. Or whatever you're gonna do. Haste? Is she gonna... She spent the whole turn just teleporting away. Okay. Chert, no! Sleep ends, and then, yep, now she dies. Fuck! Uh, the one piece of good news is these guys are all do two damage, and... Jamie can still defend against them, mostly. The bad news is I just can't kill the sorceress. I can do three damage with with Jamie, two with the whirlwind. Then I can use the second action point to do another one, another one point of damage. But she has six health, and I can only do three of it with Jamie. I could pick up Chert with Fiona, and then and then he can do like th like two damage. And then we still have one left, of course. I might be able to make that work, though. But we'll try. If only Fiona could have one more action point, she could apply... She could apply poison. Uh, I should have been doing that all along the way, basically. I probably should have done it just now, huh? Two... Two and one plus two. Uh, I should. Uh, I can't undo my turn because I've already done it before. If I could apply poison to her, then the two attacks from Jamie would probably take her down to one hit point. Because it does one and two, right? So that's three damage. Then plus two, one for each attack, would be five damage, and she'd be down to no health. Then, at which point these guys can't kill Jamie. She might do something fucking crazy. I don't know. But these guys uh, can't reach Jamie, and even if they do, they do two damage per turn, so he has a decent chunk. She's only supposed to do four damage, but she never does that attack, so I don't know. 
Uh, but basically, Jamie could just solo the sorceress at that point. She's, he still might, frankly. Which is what I'm going to try to go towards now. Man, it, it is so tempting to do basically anything else. Wait. What? You're the one thing I can teleport? Oh, that's weird. But these guys are phased out, so I can attack them, right? Yep, thanks for that. Alright, well that... That's just weird, what I just did. Huh. I guess that gets me... <laughs> I guess that keeps Chert... Nope, not that safe. They can still reach him. Oh, but he can run away. Hey, Chert might survive this turn if he doesn't get any ranged hit. Which means he can do another fire next turn, except he can't because he's out of fire. But this does one damage? That's something. It's- it's- this is tense. Every little turn ma matters. Okay, these guys won't be in range. So let's run away so that the other guys can't reach Chert. And you- and you can run away. Technically. And Jamie can just go ahead and walk away and get, make this guy get hit because that whole silly thing. Yep, that's half her health down. No damage. No damage. No da yep. She's nothing if not good at taking- at dealing no damage. Meanwhile, running away won't save her from this guy. Neither- either of them. So it's not great. Oh, but I can run even further away. But then I can't escape these guys. Damn it. I wish I could pick up Ayane, but that's- that's an action. Ah, yeah, the, yeah. I'm squeezed out here, where this guy can reach, and he does four damage, which is exactly as much health as she has. Arguably one of the best places I can be, since they're gonna reach me no matter what, is just being right next to Jamie, because then... If these guys reach me, yeah, normally they'll do they'll do two damage each, which will kill her. But instead, they'll do one they'll do one damage because uh, Jamie gives you a bonus of armor when you're near him. So I just need I just need her to walk away for a second so he can do the whirlwind. I'm going to fully commit because I don't know who's going to survive this turn, so I'm going to do all the damage I can. There's one more. That's all I can do, right? I don't think there's a way, a way to increase the damage. That's the best we can do. I will now make this guy kill himself. Isn't this fun? <laughs> it's ridiculous. Why can't you kill her? Die! <laughs> that was not the best idea because it just increased their mobility basically. Oh well, I already I did it already. Alright, well, I'm trying. Now she will teleport away, so I can't hurt oh no. Does slow time mean that is that gonna mean they get two turns or something? Dimensional gate. What are these abilities she's using? No! Your Majesty, at your service, tell me they don't get a turn this turn. Tell me they don't get a turn this turn. Did you just repossess her? Oh, you just teleported there. That's good, I can just hit you with a fireball now or something. And then I win, right? Unless you have a phase two. Watch her have a phase two. Tell me those knights she just summoned don't get another turn. What is happening? 
Time is slowed down. The heroes receive zero movement points this round. Okay. Whoa, the camera moves slow too. I don't give a shit. Chirk gets final kill. Fuck you. Oh, it is slow mode. It's a slow, it's a photo finish final shot. Bet your ass I get two gems. My god.